Hi, it's Rina here. I'm going to be reading about notice writing, which forms an integral part of your writing skills. Well, the note question is, what is notice? Notice is a formal means of written or printed communication. Its purpose is to convey information to a large number of but a specific group of people referred to as target audience. Notices generally put up in public places on boards. Information that is conveyed here could be something that has already happened or mostly about an upcoming event, celebration or simply information that is to be conveyed to the target group. Now we read about the language and the style of writing notice. So while writing a notice, remember that it should be written in a box. Must be written briefly to the point while incorporating all the necessary details. Language should be simple, preferably use passive voice. Information conveyed should be clear, lacking any ambiguity should be written in a formal tone, must not be repetitive and has a word limit of 50 words. Now we come to the format of notice writing. The format of notice includes name of the institution or the issuing authority such as the name of the school The word notice is to be written in capitals. Appropriate and relevant subheading has to be given. Date of issuing the notice is to be mentioned. Then body is to be or the content is to be discussed and authorized signatory includes signature, name and designation. Now you can view the format as a whole over here. The name of the institution is given, notice is written, date is written on the left hand side, subheading is written, then comes the body and the content and in the end on the left hand side, signature, name and designation. Now we come to the body or the content of the notice. In this we have to write the statement of the purpose. We have to write about the target audience to whom the notice is to be referred to, date, duration, time and venue, whom and where to contact, additional information would vary according to the purpose of writing the notice. Now we will be discussing about the value points for the content of different notices. The first kind is event. In the event, we have to mention the target audience, the purpose of writing the notice, date, time, venue, and any deadlines, that is the last date, is to be mentioned. The second type of notice is making an appeal. Here again, whom this notice is addressed to, what is required, why, how to send and give the requirements and whom to contact. The third is meeting. Here we have to mention the purpose, date, time, venue, the agenda of the meeting and the target audience. The fourth kind of notice writing is tours and camps. Here Again, we have to mention the target audience to whom the notice is to be addressed, destination, duration, mode of travel, charges, last date of registration and whom to contact. Next is lost and found notices that are usually found on the notice board. So again, we need to mention the target audience, the purpose of writing the notice, the date, time, venue, Details of the item found or lost. Contents, if any, has to be mentioned. Now we will be discussing about the marking scheme for notice writing. 
In the marking scheme, we see that the format carries one mark. Content carries one mark. Language, expression and fluency also carries one mark. So it's a total question of three marks. Now we can view the sample as a whole. I'm sharing a sample notice here. And the question is, your Akil Verma, Secretary of Anand Nagar Housing, Bandra, Mumbai, write a notice to inform all the residents that the club facilities will not be available during the period of lockdown owing to COVID-19. So we see that we have to draw the box. We mention the heading Anand Nagar Housing Society Bandra Mumbai. We write the notice. Mention the date on the left hand side. We mention the subheading. And then we go on to write the body, the content of the notice. And in the end, on the left hand side, we write the signatures. Akhil Varma, the name given, and the secretary. Thank you.